So many of you see me post and share about grief and you might be thinking, well, this doesn't really apply to me. And I will say that I believe that at one point too. Why do I share so much about grief? Well, firstly, it's because every single one of us is touched by grief in some way on this journey, just even on this planet. And something that I didn't realize until my own, I guess, befriending of grief until I got to know it better was how big, how big of a part it plays in all of our journeys, especially in our healing. And so if you're sitting there thinking, um, I don't have grief, I don't feel like I'm grieving. I haven't had loss in my life. You're likely lying to yourself or you just don't have the awareness or capacity to go there. And that was me for a long time. It was really challenging for me to connect to these emotions that felt really dark, really heavy, really uh, foreign in a way. No one, like, let's be honest, no one, you know, wakes up in the morning saying, I can't wait to grieve today, or I can't wait to sit with shame today, or I can't wait to befriend my guilt, or um, I can't wait to see what this jealousy feels like. It's natural to avoid the discomfort it's natural to seek comfort and safety. But what if the way to safety is through all of this discomfort? And I'm not talking about these huge cathartic displays of release of emotion like you might be seeing on certain platforms where someone goes to this healing retreat and has this huge emotional release and they're suddenly okay. I'm talking about slowly building safety with emotion, all emotion, slowly making space for it within your mind, body system, slowly changing your beliefs around it, your perspective around it, seeing it differently and experiencing it differently. What's funny about grief is that it's one of the most avoided emotions and yet it's one of the most transformative ones it is a catalyst for so much growth and so much change and if we start to see it as that if we can learn to grieve because grieving is very much learning to some extent right we're learning to live in this world without someone that previously was a big part of it, or we're learning to navigate this world with, you know, without certain abilities or capabilities or, um, you know, illness or capacity. We're learning to see the world differently than we would have in the past. So grieving is learning to a certain extent. And that's what I, I'm really passionate about is mm -hmm is first of all, getting to know my own grief, which I have gotten to know very intimately over the past few years after grieving, you know, 10 years of chronic illness, um, but also grieving the loss of my father. And so grief has become an acquaintance, not just an acquaintance, it's become a friend. It's become a very, very dear friend that I've gotten to know and I'm still getting to know. It's a friend that I've, you know, really built a sense of comfort with and familiarity with, but that still surprises me sometimes. It's a friend that I can support myself through. It's an experience I can support myself through and access um, in ways I couldn't before. So here's my invitation to you. If you've been on this journey for a while and you've experienced loss, whether it's the loss of health, relationships, a loved one, safety, loss of a job, innocence, whatever it might be, I really want to ask yourself, is there grief here? And then I invite you to ask yourself, just closing your eyes for a moment, 
making that pause in that space. Where in my body does the grief live? And where in my mind does the grief live? Can you notice a sensation in your body? Can you notice a story in your mind? Chances are you've answered yes to both of these. And so for many of us, we, we may not feel comfortable to go there and sit with it. And we may not even know how. And so this is one of the main reasons why I run my monthly live grief somatic classes to help you slowly titrate with grief, pendulate with grief, dip your toe into the fountain of grief, and then come back to safety because that's how we do it in slowness, but we move with it and that's key here. And it's also the reason why I run my gracefully grieving 10 week group coaching. I have um, already done the first cohort and it was such an experience for me as a guide, but also for the group of women that I guided, that I sat with. We learned to witness each other's grief. We learned to hold our own pain so that we could hold it for others. We learned to see grief differently. We learned to see it as a part of the healing. Grief is not what's dysregulating you. It's your avoidance of the emotions that's causing the body to talk in a different way. So I am holding the second group of gracefully grieving this 10 week experience where you'll be guided by me. We'll meet weekly for 90 minutes. We'll talk about grief. We'll learn together. You'll be guided through unique practices that can only be found here. You'll have the opportunity to share, to connect, to have your grief witness, but most importantly, to have your healing witness too. And each week you'll get these beautiful, this beautiful access to content that is in Haven, your grief guide. And this drip content is going to allow you to slowly start to dip your feet into the pool of grief and access safety. You can access safety while sitting with the uncomfortable. It takes practice, it takes learning, but it is more than possible. And for those of us who are participating in this grief work, you know as well as I do that it is such a catalyst for growth. So I invite you, if you're looking for an intimate group, a haven in grief, where you can learn to sit with and really build safety within, within the experience, with the emotions of grief, anger, um, shame, guilt, jealousy, rage, despair, all of those, then my, gr my grief group might be for you. It is beginning October the 9th and it's running for 10 weeks. I'm bringing you all through the holiday season just before the holidays and that's purposeful because I know many of us need added support during these times. But it's my intention to really help you experience grief differently. And um, I really want you to see what grief can do, what grieving can do for you. There is, there is so much more than what you've been told about grief. And I'd like to change your story or help you change the story. Please DM me for details if you'd like the spots. Um, there are a few spots available, but they're filling up fast. So you can DM me or comment below for the link.